Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Kia Beth, and I talk with my hands. It's all part of the crisis. Um, so for today, I was going to film a different video, but I sat down and I was just kind of like, I wanted to film this video, like it came into my head and I was like, okay, I'm going to film this look. Um, so I am going to be filming the episode, the second episode of my Disney Plus series. Um, and so this is your first time coming to my channel. Hello, um, I am doing a Disney, Disney Plus series here on my channel, and so they are homage wearable looks to, um, inspired by my favorite Disney movies, Disney Plus series, um, and you guys can check those videos out as I upload them. Um, and yeah, so today I'm going to be doing Esmeralda, little blah, 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 Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, I, it's actually a look that I'm wearing in my YouTube profile picture which shows up on one of the corners that I'm pointing at um, but I never filmed this look never <laughs> said anything I was just playing around and I absolutely adored it um, and so I never got to film it so I'm gonna try to recreate it as best as I can today please excuse the cats um, and yeah so without further ado let's get the fuck into it and for my first trick I'm gonna make my brows magically appear um, hey guys, so first thing is first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm using the P. Louise Eye Base, um, and then I'm just going to buff it in with a brush, um, and then I'll move into my eyeshadow. Alright, so, um, first of all, disregard the extra primer that I didn't blend into my mouth. <laughs> Um, but I'm going in with the Morphe M441 brush, just like a longer, fluffy brush. And I'm using um, a light, kind of like pale, pale brown shade. It's called Cone from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And I'm just putting this on my crease to just have you know, color in there for a base um, for the transition. So going in with my first color shade, this is the shade Suck from the Jawbreaker palette and I'm using an Morphe M456, it's a much smaller, more condensed uh, natural hair brush and so if you saw me in the beginning I was like tapping a whole bunch of it off because I just don't want a whole bunch of pigment right when I go in with this kind of shade and so it still had a pretty good amount of pigment and so with this I'm just going to slowly build it, you know, build out the shape that I want. Um, get it where I know I want this to go. I kind of want like an elongated V on the eye And so I'm a big believer in like starting little by little and just building your intensity up on your eyeshadow And so that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm building this in and just getting it um, you know, Getting the shape right and then I'll slowly build up the intensity as you'll see So I'm slowing it down here, um, just so that you guys can tell, like, this takes a bit of time, and so it's gonna be a little bit more of a dramatic look. Um, the blending, it looks like it happens, like, super quick, but it takes a while, um, so, you know, just take your time with it, don't get too crazy. I haven't even dipped back into the pan at this point, um, so I'm still using the initial shade from when I dipped into the palette the first time. Um, going in with my much more red shade, I'm going in with Licorice from the same palette, still on the same brush. Um, I don't really switch between brushes too much here. And so this one, same thing. I'm kind of just packing it in where I want it mostly concentrated, which is right at the outside of my eye. And then I'm slowly building it up. Um, this shade, I make sure to concentrate it primarily um, right there on the outside V of my eye and then once the majority of the pigment is right on that little corner That's when I start kind of buffing it out. Um, and then if you guys have seen my channel, there's a weird patch on my Left lid that doesn't pick up pigment very well. So it's just part of my life. So yeah So once I get that first layer on, I'm going to go into licorice one more time. Um, and so the color and the pigment that you see here is just me dipping into it once and just blending it out. 
and so now I'm concentrating it um, even more so making sure it's nice and vibrant um, Linkerish is like a, at least on my skin tone it's a very like pure pinky red um, and so now if you can see I'm kind of bringing it slightly more into the middle of my crease I don't bring it too high because I kind of just want that like orangey um, very pale color that I had before and I'm just intensifying my crease at this point um, still using the same M456 brush and just you know bringing it and pulling it all together And now for the shade that kind of pulls everything together, I'm using the Morphe M167, which is a much more condensed flat brush, and I'm pressing in the shade Bite Me from the Jawbreaker palette. Um, on the pan, it looks like a really dark, shimmery purple, uh, but on the lid, it's much brighter than that, as you guys can tell. Um, and so it's exactly what I wanted for this look and I'm just really kind of making a makeshift cut crease with just the brush I didn't put any extra concealer or anything on there and I'm just packing it on making sure it's nice and intense um, and just pretty Alright, so just to lighten up the purple a little bit more, um, I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Carly Bible palette, and I'm picking up the shade Mandala, um, and that's the one I'm just like putting over Bite Me, and just, again, it's the same thing, it's a very shimmery purple, but it's much lighter, so I just felt like I brightened it up a little bit more. And because your girl can't resist a glitter, I'm going in with the OA from the Kylie Bible palette and I'm just pressing this on to my lid um, just as a topper and just to really pull everything together. I can't do my life without glitter, so there it is. Um, and so with this, the eyes are done and I'm going to go on to my face. Um, I'm going to start with the Hourglass uh, Vanish Stick Foundation and I'm just really, I'm not putting too much on my face um, and I'm just going to buff this in with a brush. And then if I need more coverage, I do end up going into a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way. I'm um, just buffing that in as well. Uh, one thing that I have been noticing is that I can get the same exact coverage without using, you know, painting foundation on my face. And so I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that I use not crazy amount of product and just still buff it into the coverage that I desire. So here I'm going and I'm just dotting on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Right now I'm in the shade Light Beige and it's just because I'm really pale. And so I'm just dotting this primarily as you guys are noticing right where I need a little bit more coverage. I'm not just putting on a whole bunch more foundation on my face. Um, I feel like that's another reason why at least personally I was like looking kind of cakey after you know maybe like four hours or so beforehand if I left my, my makeup on for too long and so by doing this and not overusing the product number one you save on product but number two um, you're just you know making sure that you're concentrating it where you really need it as opposed to over condensing your face with product. Alrighty, so now I'm going in with my concealer, and this is the Morphe, this is my first concealer, it's the Morphe in C1.55, um, and I'm really just using this right there at the base of like the edge of my eye, um, and this has like a tiny bit of like a neutral pinky undertone, and so I use this to cancel out the darkness under my eyes, it's a little bit more prominent at this angle um, for you guys to see, and so I just buff this inwards with my brush, um, and if you're wondering, I am using the M449 from Morphe as well. Um, all my brushes are Morphe because like they cheap, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so I just really just buff this into my under eye and just slightly blend it outwards. For my actual highlighting concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And so if you've watched one of my earlier videos, I used to put a lot more concealer on. 
And so I've gotten adapted this method. Um, and it's just, you know, a little bit of concealer right where you want to look brighter. And so for me, um, I was putting a little bit on the outside of my eye, number one, to brighten that area up and bring more attention to it. And number two, to just kind of clean up my eyeshadow as well. Um, on the tip of my nose, right there in the um, in between my eyebrows and then on my chin. And so those are also the high points of the face, so light bounces off of it. And I'm using the same brush I'd used before to just buff this in um, and just blend it out into the face. Two quick things. Number one, the reason why you keep seeing me like look off to the side is because I'm actually watching the Hunchback of Notre Dame while I'm putting this look together. Um, but also, I'm switching up brushes here, and so I'm using like a flatter uh, brush. This is the Morphe E55, um, and so I'm using this one because it just has like a much longer, flatter edge. And so just to be careful and not mess up my eyeshadow, I like to use this brush when I just kind of want to be more precise and linear when, with my application. And then I'm going in, I'm actually using the Cover FX, I think it's just called, yeah, the Perfect, the Perfect Setting Powder um, in the shade Translucent, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I'm just going in with a Morphe E49. Um, not using too much powder, just a light wash of it, and I'm just spreading it all over the face. Now to warm up the face, I'm going in and I'm using the Morphe Glamour Bronze in Icon. I'm using the Morphe brush in R0, it's just a giant fluffy brush. And so um, when I first put the brush down, as you guys saw, it's like on the outside, right where my jawline is, and I'm just kind of bringing that inwards um, onto my cheek area just to give me a nice, you know, cool bronze look. Um, don't be scared to bring it more inwards on the face, like close to like the bottom of your nose, just don't bring it up towards your eye. Um, and just concentrating this on the outside of the face. Um, and once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put on blush. And for my blush, I'm using the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. Um, and I'm applying it with the Morphe Y4. Alright, so before I go on to um, highlighter, I'm going in and I'm just putting the same shades that I put on my lids. So I'm using Licorice and I'm using Suck um, on the outside of my eye to kind of blend that into that, you know, the outside corner of my lid. Um, I'm using that same brush that I use for the majority of my eye, and that's the M456. Um, and then I'm going in with just a tiny, tiny tiny little brush it doesn't even have a name um, but it's like an angled brush I think it's supposed to be used for either eyeliner or your eyebrows um, and I'm just concentrating licorice on the outside of my eye and then I'm highlighting the inner corner of my eye using um, I think it's Bali from the Carly Bible palette So something I'm going to show you guys in this video that I don't usually show, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put like a thin, thin line of eyeliner. And this is the NYX uh, liner. I'll go ahead and drop it in the description box below because I don't have it on me right now. Um, but I do this just to kind of have a little tiny base for putting on my lashes. And so I'm really, I'm not putting a wing or anything like that. Um, it's just a really thin line of eyeliner to hide the lash band um, and the lash glue and all that good stuff. And so now I'm just dusting on some highlight, um, and I'm using a really old uh, fluffy brush that I have. Uh, it's from the brand Luxie. Uh, it's the Pro Pre Precision Tapered Brush, um, and that was a highlight from the old Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And then my concentrated highlight um, is the Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighting Powder in Balm, and I'm using my Morphe R31 brush for the application. 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. I'm just using a dark red lip liner. You can use any one that you want. Um, and so this is just to, I'm going to have like a really dark red lipstick on. And so I like to make sure I line my lip a little bit uh, before I go in with the actual lipstick. For the lipstick itself, I am using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood. Um, this is probably one of my like favorite dark red lipsticks to wear. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lip uh, following the liner line. And once that's on, I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara and some lashes on. And the look is done. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys like the look. I'm actually really happy of how I'm happy with how it came out. Um, I actually think it looks better than the first time I did it. Um, and I like the colors I got to play with this time. Um, I will link in the description box down below the specific shades I used, but I used two palettes for this look. I used I used the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker and I used one shade from the Carly Bible and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, so put the look together with these two bad boys um and yeah um the lashes that i'm wearing are the ardell professional naked lashes in i guess they don't have a style but the number is 421 got these at target i think um and yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video hope that you guys um like the disney inspired looks if you have any suggestions for any ones that you want to see i probably have it on my list already but i am super open to maybe switching one out or adding one in if you guys want um so just let me know in the com comments down below um but i really appreciate you guys watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed um and i will see you on the next one please just keep staying safe out there um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys. Bye. The answer is yes, the look needed hoops.